Hey you guys. So I wanted to just share a little bit of information on how on how 2021 is going to show up. Yeah. And even though we are barely in what? January, you know, it's it's intuition, it's a feeling. And you know, it is the age of Aquarius, so more extreme confirmation. And even though I was doing this too, it was 222, two, two, so it's all about balance and just being within self so as an aqua i see it for what it is and let me tell you that this year is all about self-growth tower moments have been transmuted big time instead of looking them as agonizing pain as we used to we are seeing them as guides yes guides you can say an alignment marker Yep, you heard it. Has a great ring to it, right? So these align markers are, they're still going to shake you up. But now the shaking up, it's very different. It's very, uh, very friendly and just, it's a guide. So it's, it's like it's a friend. It feels very friendly. It feels really good. Um, these alignment markers. So 2020 was definitely about karma clearing and uniting back to oneself. Back then, we didn't even know what oneself was. It was an opening to an uplifted journey of self-realization, the journey of getting what you want through the life's path. It's a guide to your ultimate fulfillment. And we are feeling these fulfillments you know, it's just, it just happened. It feels good. It feels exciting. You know, everything that we have learned, you know, we are seeing now and really enjoying the fruits of our labor. Okay. It's a journey of laughs and giggles. I tell you, I haven't laughed like this in ages. Okay. You can't help but enjoy it, right? I mean, it's presented to you. It's yours. You enjoy it for what it is. Yep, Dorothy, you're not in Kansas anymore. It's a feeling of owning and making every day count. And you will encounter new guides left and right. And you're not losing any guides. You're just encountering new ones. And you wouldn't have thought, yep, they are. They present, you know, they present themselves to you. And it's very innocent. It was very friendly. They like to joke around a lot. They like to bring that humor back, that fun into play, into, you know, your true self. And I think that for a lot of us, we were kind of lacking that. Right? But now we're here and we're enjoying every moment. You are driven by your own findings. That is the, you know, the drive that keeps you going. It's like, oh my God, epiphanies and realizations. And that is just the drive that you have not felt in such a long time. It's like going back to that feeling of fulfillment your reality is showing up as how you see yourself from within isn't it fascinating transmuting energy is definitely a big changer in 2021 with every low vibe energy you become the magician and then it comes out as a beautiful butterfly you understand the beauty of acceptance and the drive to cherish every day to make it your own your intuition is on fleek. Give yourself of applause. You got it going on, in and out. The conquest of self is just beginning. It's exciting. It's a love that I have never felt before. It's a new love that will never get old or end. It's endless, forever, infinite, always, and forever, ever, ever. <laughs> This love makes you dance with the flowers. 
giggle with the fairies, rejoicing with true self is definitely, oh my God, is a gift that, that doesn't stop giving. It is really, has real full potential. It's a fulfillment. It's a love that is very true to oneself. It's a journey. You'll get there eventually, but when you do that, it's blissful. It's, it's the garden. It's the fulfillment of every need that you have lost and that you had missed along the way. This is bringing that back to yourself. And whatever is meant for you will always be for you. All right, my friends, until next time, much love. Bye.